Most of us aren't even aware of the UK logistics industry, yet it's one of the most successful sectors in UK business. Logistics affects nearly every aspect of our daily lives. It's quite literally all around us, all the time. It never stops. It just continues to grow and respond to the demands we place upon it. One would be forgiven for taking the logistics sector for granted. But if you scratch beneath the surface a little and understand the principles that define life as we live it, it shouldn't. After all, without efficient logistics, so much is at stake. Did you know that 95% of fruit and 50% of vegetables eaten in the UK are imported? They arrive by boat, air and rail nearly every hour of every single day. Our roads, railways and waterways are the arteries that keep our shelves stocked and the system functioning. Without them, we wouldn't have any of the things we use, eat and enjoy. So next time you're eating your lunchtime sandwich or enjoying your morning coffee, spare a thought for where it's come from and how it came to you. It all happens right under our noses. The world keeps on turning without us really paying attention. But imagine if it just stopped. What would you do with the half tonne of rubbish you generate each year? That's just the stuff you see. There's a further 440 million tonnes of other waste dealt with behind the scenes. In fact, we produce so much rubbish that every two hours we could fill the Albert Hall. But clearing up after us is a dirty job and someone's got to do it. And logistics plays a fundamental part in that. If you're feeling nice and warm while watching this film, consider the logistics that brought the power to your heating system. A massive 63 million tonnes of coal are burnt in our power stations every year. And 70% is moved by train. And the fuel in your car only gets there because the oil itself is driven to a convenient location for you to get it. Even our alternative energies are hugely dependent on logistics. These farms then generate clean energy, which is harnessed and delivered back into business to supply yet more services. Believe it or not, over £10 billion worth of pharmaceuticals enter the UK every year. A vast majority are brought in by air and then delivered by road to the wholesalers. As our second biggest sector, the economic health of the nation is also heavily dependent on exports from the UK's pharmaceutical industries. It's a big business all made possible through transport logistics. So, other than heating, food, waste removal, construction, manufacturing, our emergency services, our economy and medicine, what has logistics done for us? Well, without it, everyday life would look and feel very different. With no way to ship products from the Far East, there'd be no TV, surround sound or CD player for a start. Furniture from Scandinavia and the polish we use to clean it would disappear. It's fair to say the price of genuine Turkish rugs would skyrocket too. In fact, without logistics, it would be impossible to obtain the building materials needed to build in the first place. It would be living, but not as we know it.